We're keeping a close eye on Rafael as it moves to the Caribbean, and I wanted to bring in meteorologist Chris Hyde to help us break this down. Chris, what do we know so far about this storm? Yeah, hi, Jim. Aside from the strong winds, uh, probably peaking around 90 miles per hour as it heads towards Cuba, we're looking at very heavy rain, anywhere from three to six inches in areas of Jamaica towards Cuba, and potentially up to 10 inches in some isolated areas around higher terrain, because it is a mountainous island uh, in that part of the Caribbean could lead to flash flooding and mudslides for that area. So a serious risk there, including storm surge, six to nine feet above normal for that area too. Well, that's concerning. And what we're showing you now are MedX animations. This is our data visualization platform, and it will help you understand some more of the impact. And as we think about impact for different industries, what happens if this storm does intensify as predicted? Once it uh, goes over the western part of the Caribbean, there is a very good chance uh, it's still questionable with regard to intensity and where it's going to go, but a good chance that it could uh, start to weaken. There's a lot uh, going against it, including some dry air that could get intertwined in the system, as well as some shearing, uh, ripping apart of the system in the upper layers of the atmosphere. We've got a few days by the time Thursday rolls around. That's when we'll have a little better idea on the intensity as well as the tracks. So those working in energy, transportation, uh, utilities, what should they focus on as Raphael approaches? I think the biggest thing is the tracks. Once we get to that pivotal point in the next 48 hours, is right around Thursday afternoon. You know, a lot of the tracks, as we see here in MedEx, uh, takes it towards the uh, central Gulf and just kind of weakens. Others take it into the north central part of the Gulf, Louisiana, Mississippi area, and kind of stalls and, and makes landfall up there as a uh, tropical storm. Uh, certainly, uh, pr energy production, the platforms there will likely have some evacuation in the north central Gulf as a precaution because there's a very unusual scenario taking place here in early to mid-November to have a hurricane uh, for in this part of the world. Late season storm or not, it is still a storm that we should be watching. And Chris and our team of experts are here to make sure that you have all the information that you need to make the right and informed decision. So please reach out.